Hello everyone and uh, welcome to that uh, new video in 2020, the first one of the year. Uh, Happy New Year to, uh, to everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about a few things going on, the, the, the release of ECM7 and what difference do we see between DocMe ECM7 and DocMe DMS6. So one of the big new feature is the new graphic workflow interface you're able to design your workflows fully in fully graphical mode. Uh, it's very easy to do. You drag things around. You uh, automatically have them connect to, to one another. Uh, so you get a full graphic representation of your uh, workflows. Uh, another big thing is the dynamic foldering. So now you have the ability to use the index fields uh, to create the uh, tree structure that you want. You could use, for instance, company name, and then underneath maybe the, uh, the dates. Uh, and so you can create dynamically uh, your tree view, uh, as opposed to version 6, which only had a static uh, tree view. Plus, the way it was built uh, when you were dealing with extremely large databases it would sometimes uh, have stability issues. That problem is gone in ECM7. The next big thing is we have the uh, Office 365 integration. So Word, Excel, Outlook, they are now, now fully integrated uh, and you can send documents from those applications from Office 365 directly into uh, DocMe ECM. Another feature, uh, check-in, check-out. Brand new in ECM7, you can now check out files. Uh, you can make modifications. Once you're done, you check them back in. Uh, so it's, it's a great new feature uh, for people dealing with uh, multiple users and they need to modify you know, the, the files, but they want to make sure that everybody's modification is taken in consideration. Overall, we have changed the entire UI of, uh, the, of ECM7. So the, 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 the user interface is brand new. Uh, so one of the big uh, things that happened and that we have worked on is increasing the speed of the overall product. So we see some areas where uh, it's like two, three times faster than DMS was. And in some others, uh, we're talking as much as eight to ten times faster. Uh, so overall, it's it's a much faster product. It opens faster, uh, doing searches goes faster, viewing anything, any document is the viewers a lot faster. So it's a major improvement on that side as well. Uh, another thing that we have worked on is we've fully opened the API for people to use every single feature of the product. In DocMe DMS6, you were able to do integrations, but they were limited to only a few, uh, not a few, but some of the main features of the product. Today, every single feature in the product is going to be usable uh, with the API. So uh, that's really great whenever you're doing uh, integration with systems and there are very specific features of DocMe ECM that you want to use, full API. A uh, brand new uh, feature in ECM7 that did not exist in uh, DMS6 is notifications. It will allow you to uh, put notifications on specific documents. You can create rules uh, to say that maybe based on an index field, if the value changes to a certain name or certain word, or maybe based on specific dates, uh, you know, like, hey, uh, I have a... Uh, rental agreement that expires, you know, four years from now, remind me 60 days before the expiration, you know, to review uh, that lease. So you will be able to put notifications on all documents. And one last thing that's going to be uh, also that we're working on and improving uh, tremendously on is the collaboration, uh, the ability to work together on the documents. So one, we have a new feature uh, coming out in ECM7, which will allow you to uh, actually use the text messaging to 
talk to each other. So when somebody says at your name, you will be uh, automatically, uh, uh, you'll receive a notification saying that someone has talked about you, you know, on that document and you'll be able to go see that document. So people can, in a way, you know, message each other, you know, on reviewing different documents without the need to email them or get the documents out of the system and, and send them to someone. Another big collaboration thing that's coming towards the middle of the year, uh, you will be able to work at the same time on Word and Excel documents. So you'll be able to do some collaboration on electronic uh, documents. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, you know, we, we hope you have a great start of uh, 2020. And